Are you tired of getting bad randoms on your team? Do you always tilt and get hard stuff in your ring for months, days, and weeks? Many people always keep saying, my teammates are the problem, or my enemies are just better, or this brother is so broken, or just to shift their blame for why they can't rank up. But there are actually even more deeper reasons and more problems which may be holding you back to the reason you are not breaking up and we are going to be diving into those three things today in this video so number one you're always blaming your teammates for faults and i know this might sound a little surprising but teammates won't always be the reason your heart sucks sometimes your own skill matters in game too and even if you feel like it's out of control to get random teammates it is out of your control However, you can't control important aspects, how to learn and improve instead of blaming on teammates every game. If you constantly think that teammates are the reason holding you back, you'll never focus and improve your own skills to help such as aim, movement, utility use, game sense, etc. and so on. So, at the end of each game, always make sure to watch replays regardless of randoms or whether you win or lose, and try to point out and spot any bad habits or mistakes that you make in a game. For example, do you play too aggressive against long range? If you do, then either work on movement or play favorable angles slash utility to get up close, or just play passive against bad matchups. So instead of always blaming your teammates, Take responsibility and learn from bad habits or mistakes. And another useful tip is to watch what your teammates do wrong so that you can learn from their mistakes so you won't repeat them or develop those bad habits in the future. Or even better, if you're so sick of your randoms making mistakes, you can add them or talk to them later and tell them how to fix their mistakes or help other people improve first. Because if you're just going to complain about them being bad and not doing anything to help them improve, then there's nothing you can really do. And generally, you can't always expect everyone to be good, perfect, and great. You have to understand that everyone messes up and not everyone has the same skill as you. So you shouldn't get mad at others, but just work on yourself. Number two. You aren't using communication or having efficient teamwork. I know that majority of the YouTubers keep exemplifying that, oh, just find a team, play with real people instead of playing with just randoms on the internet. And you can find a team, you're just good, right? I mean, well, it is good to find a team. You just have to communicate. Notice the word communicate here. This is really a secret weapon that is extremely underrated, barely not, not much people use, and can really make the difference between getting good drafting picks, playing as a team, and helping you to easily win games. How do I communicate? Either use Discord voice chat, call, or hang out with real people in order to help communicate efficiently and talk with each other. During drafting, call out so you could choose who you want to ban, what team you want to pick, brawlers to synergize, and brawlers that you want to switch with with your team. And in game, while using comms, make sure to call out for what actions you want to do, such as choosing lanes, changing positions, or call outs for combo moves, using gadgets, blanks, holding positions, and even more strategies. With these tactics in mind, your gameplay experience will be significantly enhanced just by simply talking with people. So try to look for people in Discord and in real life or online service to have good communication. And another disclaimer, just simply talking to people won't always guarantee wins, and won't always guarantee that you'll always win every game. But by developing your communication skills slowly, it can help improve your chances of winning against the odds. The last reason to why your heart suck is that you are playing and risking your rank too much. What I mean by this is, do not play rank too much. Now, no, no, I might want to rephrase this a bit, and I know this may surprise people because you may be like, if I don't play much rank, you won't rank up? Again, the amount of time doesn't always help you rank up, while well, it might help you a little bit, not too much. Rather, playing smart than playing hard is the key. For example, if you go on a losing streak and lose to Milo, you may feel bad, angry, or tilted. You can feel tempted to play again until you win, but resist. Because if you keep playing if you're just more stressed and tilted, you'll just start to tilt more and end up losing like thousands, hundreds, or even going down the ranks without you even realizing it. And another skibbity situation is when you are so close to your next rank level like Diamond 3 to Mythic, or Mythic 3 to Legendary, or Legendary 3 to Master. But then you get so cocky and then tip down a few games and then now you're not so close to your dream rank anymore. If you are in either of these situations, I recommend playing when you are in a good condition because your health and state of mind is important. Playing when angry, tired, fatigued, or hungry can significantly reduce your performance. 
And plus, you'll have to deal with randoms if you just constantly solo queue all the time. So instead, try to play when you are in a good condition, good mood, and when you have good teammates with all these communication that you can hang out with. Now, I know that you won't instantly rank up fast, but you'll start to see more improvement and notice if you apply these tips, you'll start to stop blaming your teammates, stop holding yourself back, and stop shifting the blame and actually work on improving yourself. Hope you guys found these tips useful. This is Deception signing off. Stay tuned.